Hello and welcome to another episode of Tom's Hardware the Piecast. It's a bit different this week because, one, you can't see me on the screen right now, but number two, we're going to do a little bit of a tutorial. So this has already been written up by myself at the back end of last week. This is running Windows 11 in a virtual machine on a Raspberry Pi 5. Specifically, this is a Raspberry Pi 5 with 16 gig of RAM, so the top spec model. No overclocking whatsoever, just the base clock. I've got an SSD installed via a hat drive nano from Pineboards, and I've got a 128 gig SSD attached as well. We're using something called BoxBot Virtual Machine, which is a really handy tool to run Windows 11 in a virtual machine. It's so easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video. But just to show you what the goal is, on the right-hand side of the screen, we can see a terminal window open, and it says BVM boot, no display, Win 11. In other words, it's booting Windows 11 with no display enabled. We're gonna to connect to it via RDP, and that's what the left-hand side terminal window is doing. Doing it this way, according to BBM BotSpot, it's a bit faster, a bit more slicker, quicker overall in general, really. So what does Windows 11 look like? Well, if I open it up now, there is Windows 11 running on a Raspberry Pi 5 16 gig. The left-hand side of the screen is the About page. It's showing we've got 14 gig of install RAM, two gigs reserved for the base OS, Raspberry Pi OS, and it's running Windows 11 Pro. This is the ARM version, and it's 24H2. On the right, we can see Tom's Hardware website, and it's pretty responsive. So if I go to a page, and I'll show you how it loads. It works pretty well. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't sit here all day and work on this, but the tinkering, messing around with seeing how Windows works, it's interesting. We also have full networking pass-through, so we have Wi-Fi and Ethernet pass-through. I'm connected via Ethernet at the moment. And we can also pass through USB devices. But we're going to go through the base install of getting BotSpot Virtual Machine installed on a Raspberry Pi 5 16 gig. This will also work on models 4 gig and upwards. If you're using 4 gig model, you'll need um, ZRAM enabled because you're going to be running out of RAM really fast. Realistically, 8 gig is the minimum I would personally use. But because I've got a 16 gig on the desk, I thought, hey, why not? Also running this from an NVMe SSD is a bit of a must. You could get away with it on micro SD, especially one of the faster ones, but it's going to be a slower experience. If you can get a PCIe NVMe drive installed on your Pi and Pineboard's Hat Drive Nano is $9 at the moment, so it's, it's nothing. And you can get it installed and you've got a real fast drive then. You've got PCIe Gen 3 speeds. But yeah, enough blabbering on. I'm going to show you how to install it. So for that, I'm going to open a completely fresh install and start from scratch. Okay, we're starting with an absolutely fresh install of Raspberry Pi OS on the Raspberry Pi 5 16 gig. And before we do anything Windows 11, I'm going to do a few things personal preference, but I like to make sure the system's up to date before I start building anything on top of it. So I'm going to open up a terminal. I'm going to use sudo apt update and then chain the next command to it, sudo apt upgrade and then dash y. So using sudo apt update and then two ampersands, if that command runs through cleanly, so it exits true, correct, it's going to start the next part of the sequence, which is the upgrade process, and using dash Y means it'll auto upgrade. So if I press enter now, it's going to start the upgrade progress. And this is going to take a little bit of time, so I'll see you in a moment. Okay, updates are done. That took approximately five minutes, so not too bad. Next step is all based on the NVMe SSD that I've got attached to this. Right now, if memory serves, it's using PCIe Gen 2 speeds, which are fast enough for a Raspberry Pi, but PCIe Gen 3 can be used on a Pi 5 now. So I'm going to enable that so it speeds up the process. So I'm going to use sudo raspy config. And I'm going to go down to the advanced options, which currently is number 6. And then go down to A8, which is PCIe speed. Would I like to enable PCIe Gen 3? Yes, I would. It's now enabled. And I can click on Finish. And I'll reboot. So what I'll do now, I will reboot this Raspberry Pi. 
So now we have the fastest PCIe possible for the Raspberry Pi, which gives us more speed, which gives us a bit more performance in Windows 11. As I said earlier, you could do this on a micro SD card, but it's going to be slower, quite obviously. You could also install it to a USB 3 drive that you've got attached, but again, performance is going to be a little bit slower. Okay, so we have rebooted. So we'll start the process now of installing BVM, BotSpot Virtual Machine and Windows 11. So this part of the process to install BotSpot Virtual Machine and Windows 11, I'm following the written guide on Tom's hardware. So we're going to open up a terminal and just put it over here so it's out of the way. So we need to clone the Git repository for BotSpot's Virtual Machine. So just copy that command and I'm going to drop it straight into the terminal. So Git clone and then I give it the URL for the GitHub repository. Press enter. And it's cloned into a directory called BVM. So from that directory, we're going to call a command called BVM help. Now the first time you use BVM at all, it will pull down a list of dependencies and install them on the system so that it's all up to date. If I run that command now, let's just copy that. So BVM, so I'm going this directory BVM, BVM a command, and then the argument help. If I press enter, it's going to start the install process. So right now it's doing all the dependencies that we're going to need for this. So QEMU, which is the emulation system, the virtual machine behind the scenes, that's doing all the work. And then all dependencies that we need to run QEMU and other bits and pieces as well. There we go. And it also gives us a nice helpful little process here to show what we need to do. So now we're going to run the BVM command again. But this time we're going to create a Windows 11 virtual machine and the necessary configuration files. So from the BVM directory, run BVM, create a new VM, and then tell it the directory we want to create is home, which is what that tilde sign means, slash win11. If I press enter, done. It's even telling us the next step of the process, which is really cool. As I said, this is the easiest Windows 11 install on a Raspberry Pi I've ever done. Okay, this is one of the, the long processes now. We're going to download Windows 11 and all of the necessary drivers. Now, this can take some time depending on your network connection and also the speed of the Raspberry Pi. So I've copied the command. BVM, BVM download, and then dump it in Windows 11. So I'll press Enter now. And it is downloading. Windows 11 to this virtual machines directory. And it's going to take a while, about four minutes and 30 seconds approximately. So I'll pause it here and I'll come back to you in a moment. Okay, we're all downloaded. So the next thing to do is to prepare the Windows 11 downloads for the first boot. So let's just highlight this command here and copy it into the terminal. So from the BVM directory, run BVM command, prepare the Windows 11 install which is in the directory Windows 11. That was quick. There you go. That's basically created a 40 gig virtual drive for the virtual machine where Windows 11 is going to be installed. Okay, next part of the process is the first boot process. So I'm going to copy the command, uh, put it into the terminal. So BVM directory, run the BVM command, first boot for our Windows 11 install in the Windows 11 directory and press enter. So this is all automatic. We don't have to do anything whatsoever. It's opened QEMU and it's starting Windows 11 for the first boot to install it into that 40 gig virtual hard drive. Now this can take a long time. Even with a Raspberry Pi 5 16 gig, even with an NVMe SSD, there's gonna be a bit of time to wait. So sit back, relax, get a drink and wait it out. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna pause it right now and we'll come back to it when it's installed. Okay, so right now, the install script is actually de-bloating Windows 11. It's taking out all the bits and pieces that we don't really need. Quite a useful little aspect of the script, this. Okay, so we have installed Windows 11 in a virtual machine on a Raspberry Pi 5. 
So now we need to move on to the next part of the process, which is actually starting it up. Now for this, you just think, hey, just run the VM and away we go. But I mentioned previously, right at the start, that we're going to run Windows 11, like headless with no display, and we're going to connect to it via RDP. Because according to BotSpot, that's the fastest way, the best way to get it to work. We could just run it as is, but performance would be laggy. So to do that, it's going to scroll down and we're going to get this command here, BVM, so a directory, and then the command BVM boots with no display, and then give it the argument of where the VM is. So let's copy that, and let's paste it into the terminal and run. Okay, that is running. And now the next command is to connect. So I'm going to grab this bvm, the directory, and then the command bvm connect to the Windows 11 VM. I'm going to copy that and open another terminal window and paste that command inside there. And now it is connecting to Windows 11, the VM on the Raspberry Pi 5. Auto login as Windows 11 ARM. And here we go. We have Windows 11 for ARM running on a Raspberry Pi 5, 16 gig in this case. Not overclocked, just a bare normal Raspberry Pi. I can open the browser. And I've got a connection. Okay, so let's go to tomshardware.com. And let's close that window there. And yeah, I can click on stories. I can read stories. I can maximize the window as well. So I'm currently running at 1080p for the host OS, Raspberry Pi OS. You can just see it at the top there. Well, there we go. Windows 11 running on a Raspberry Pi 5 16 gig or an 8 gig if you want to use that. And as I said earlier, you could use a 4 gig if you enable ZRAM as well. Quite easy to do. A few commands, just follow them step by step and away you go. All of the instructions for this are in the article that I wrote last week. Follow through each one step by step and you'll have a running Windows 11 VM pretty quick. There's also additional steps there to enable USB pass-through and a means to mount the VM's drive in Raspberry Pi OS so that you can copy files to and from. But for now, that is all this week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. Bye.